Hi, welcome back. Today I will be sharing one of the quickest methods of retouching a skin to soften it and to remove blemishes. Here is our starting image. And this will be our final image. Pretty amazing, right? So let's go. First thing I will do is to duplicate the source layer twice. The first layer I will rename to color and the second to texture. In the color layer I will add a live Gaussian blur effect. Adjust until the face has a nice smooth surface. In my example something around 8 pixels looks good. Next I go to the texture and add a high pass filter. In most cases you can use the same value as the Gaussian filter, which in my case was around 8. Now to combine these two layers I will set the texture layer to vivid light blend mode. And there we have it. Well, almost I mean. We don't want this to apply to the whole face area. Let me group these two layers and apply a mask to it. As I want it to be applied selectively, I invert the mask with Ctrl I and paint with a soft black brush in the mask for the places I want to smoothen out. Looks much better. Depending on your image, there might be still some blemishes like in my case. The easy fix is to use the healing brush on the texture layer. Sample from an area without blemishes and paint with the healing brush over the blemishes. If there are still some dark spots like in my case under the eyes, you can go to the color layer and sample from a lighter color area and again paint with the healing brush on the areas you want to lighten. Pretty awesome. And we're done with retouching. To finish up let me apply a couple of tips I showed in earlier videos. First, let me apply a reverse S-curve, which gives a nice contrast to the image, followed by applying the negation blend mode on the eyes. If you are interested in these tips, I will put a link in the description. Wow, let's have a quick look at the before and the after. A huge improvement. That's it for today's topic. However, if you are interested, you can keep watching for more tips I have not shared before to make it even more amazing. Let me continue by giving the lips a bit of more red. I will do this by adding a recolor adjustment and setting its blend mode to darken. As I only want this to be applied to the lips, I will invert the mask and then paint on the lips to get that nice red color. To make it blend better, I will adjust the blend range so it only applies to dark areas. The before and the after. As you might have noticed, I did not spend a lot of time on retouching, as I also wanted to show you the next technique. If we look closely, the color and the shadows are a bit off. So what I want to do is, just like on video production, put a lot of light on her face to remove the impurities on the face. Before I do that, I will first make sure that I don't lose too much information and for that I will first add a black and white adjustment and put its blend mode to luminosity. Now I can control which colors I can darken. In this case I want to keep the reds and the yellows. Again with the blend range I apply this only to the dark areas. Now it is time to lighten up the face, just as I mentioned a few seconds ago. This will be a two pass step. First a color balance adjustment where I will darken the wimpers and the hair. I will put the blend mode to screen to apply the opposite effect and again set the blend mode so it only applies to the darks. As you can see this makes already a big difference. The next pass to lighten up the face is to add a curves layer and darken it. The idea here is again the same as the color balance change the blend mode to screen and adjust the blend range so it only applies to the darks. 
These two layers I just applied have brightened things up, which is as a final result actually not that bad at all. But I want to bring back more color and contrast. So as a final step, I'm going to add a regular curves layer to darken the photo to get the colors back. Let's have a look at the effect on these layers. As you can see, there is more color, but it also created more color contrast in the image, which makes this model really shine like a star. And where did we start? Whoa, I think this is a job well done for today. Thanks again for watching and until next time.